Okay, so in this video we're going to be making a 3 volt battery out of two AA batteries. And we've never done this before, but we're going to give it a shot. A lot of the videos on the internet have pre-made cases, but we're just going to try to do it from scratch because why not? This will be step by step kind of video. So right now we've got the two AAA batteries. I think I said AA before, AAA zip tied together so we can remove if we have to. It's a little less messy than tape. So we're gonna do that and we'll go through step by step. Okay, so right now Hunter's removing the tips of the original like three volt battery. You don't necessarily need to use the connectors, but we're using them so you can just directly connect. Also for that, you can use any piece of metal as well. Not any piece of metal, because any conductive metal. Uh, so we're gonna solder a piece of metal to, on the bottom of this battery to close the circuit down. Step one, fucking burn yourself. <laughs> it's like the worst gun in the world for this because it's so fucking huge. So we taped on the metal piece because it was arguing with us with the solder. So now we're gonna start to solder it. I say like where, but I mean funny. <laughs> This is the connection be very pretty. between the bottom part of our battery. It's a negative to a positive. The piece we soldered originally wasn't really giving us a good charge. It wasn't lighting up our little tester. So we found a piece that had a really strong connection and we're going to re-solder that. At first, we took two AAA batteries and soldered them together and attempted to use that rig in the camera, which in theory would work, but it didn't for because whatever reason. We don't know if it was because they were AAA and didn't have enough power or what. Or if we just suck at soldering ends together. But the the light lit up on the test so we don't yeah. know for sure. But then we took two AA's and put them inside an old Xbox 360 cage. And we modified the metal piece. So it, so right, it does... This metal right in here. So it, touch, it completes the connection. Because that's what happens when you plug it into the controller but we bent it and added a piece of metal to make it connect and then we put it in the camera and the, the, the shutter yeah the, the shutter shut, the opens. shutter open so that's basically what we've done and now we're going to try and modify the inside of the camera to get the fit all right so we're just going to tape it for now see if it works solder it later this is a polaroid 210 just to clear that up <laughs> but first thing to check to make sure your battery is working you want to cock it so that's cock and then, as you can see in there, the shutter will open when you pull the trigger. So if your shutter opens, it's good. If it doesn't, your battery's not working. All right, so we took our two double A's, taped them together, taped a piece of metal on the end there, just so they're getting, bridging the connection there, positive and negative. And on the other hand, we put the positive lead on the positive end, negative lead on the negative end. So this is running our two double A's at three volts. Uh, that's what this takes, that's what this battery we took out was, but we just modded it. Now we have to figure out a way to get this to actually fit. So that's our next step. Okay, <laughs> okay so here goes the AAA try with our new testing technique. That's what she said. We're going to see if it worked or if it just sucks. That's what she said. Alright. Knocked. And we'll Open. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. So now we don't even have to mod it. Mod it. It's just going to fit right in. That's what she said. <laughs> 